<laughs> Namaste. Who here has ever made a decision? Put your hands up. Yeah, all of us. Some of us haven't. Didn't decide to brush your teeth in the morning. To decide to apply for that job. Decide to pick from the apple or orange out the fruit bowl. Or was it that chocolate from the cupboard? And who here has made a tough decision? A life-changing decision? Again, put your hands up. Most of us, wow, maybe a few less. Decided this career over that career. Decided a life partner. Decided on moving country to, for a better life. But why is decision making important? Is it important? And where does dharma play a part? Is there such a thing as dharmic decision making? Well, first things first, what is dharma? In a nutshell, it's a principle or concept that means that which sustains and upholds ourselves, others around us, and society at large. In two words, it is connectivity and sustainability. Now that sounds really vast. How am I going to use that to make decisions? You're probably thinking. Well, I'm going to give you a three-pronged framework that will help you put dharma into practice. First, heat. That which is beneficial. Second, Meat, that which causes the least harm. And breathe, that which is compassionate. I'm going to tell you three stories from Mahabharata, all about difficult decisions. The Mahabharata, an Indian epic in Hindu history that is all about dharma and decision making together. First, the decision of Bhishma to remain neutral. Bhishma was the grandfather, the grandsire of the Pandavas and the Kauravas, first cousins, who were locked in a conflict over the rule of the kingdom. He was the eldest and wisest of the Kuru dynasty and the mentor to both brothers. He was known as the strongest and mightiest warrior of the time. It was even said that Bhagwan Parshuram couldn't defeat him in battle. Now Bhishma had taken a vow to remain celibate his whole life, to never take on the kingdom or crown, even though he was the rightful and capable heir. And third, to always serve the kingdom and crown, regardless of who was sat on it. Bhishma's decision to remain neutral during the early stages of the conflict between the Pandavas and the Kauravas was a controversial one. The Pandavas' reign would have brought flourishing for society, where the Kauravas would have brought destruction. Bhishma thought that his duty was towards his vow, towards the king of the time. But what was his dharma? He thought that he would, should serve the king of the day and decided to stick to his vow. He decided to remain impartial in the early stages of their conflicts. Could he have intervened earlier, used his power and influence and stopped a full-scale war that killed millions? Could he have decided to break his vow and help the Pandavas in the early stages. Second, the decision of Yudhishthir to play the game of dice. Yudhishthir was the eldest of the Panj Pandavas, the five Pandavas. And he was known for his morality and virtue in the epic. He was even dubbed Dharm Raj, the king that epitomized dharma. 
Now, your this decision to decide to go and play the game of dice with his cousins, the gold of us, was a pivotal moment in the Mahabharat. His decision ultimately led to his brothers and himself being exiled for 13 years, losing their kingdom and the terrible, terrible humiliation of their wife, Draupadi. Now, all of this because he decided to accept the invite to play the game of dice. He believed his duty was that of a nominal king. Yes, I must decide to go and play. Despite knowing it was rigged against him, despite knowing he was going to lose, could he have said no? Could he have decided that his priorities were to his family and society than that of a nominal king? His decision ultimately led to terrible things to come. Yudhishthira's decision highlights the importance of us understanding the consequences of our actions. And third, Arjun's decision to fight in the Kurukshetra war. Arjun was the third of the five Pandavas and he was known as the Sarvashresh Dhanudar, the greatest archer in the land. He's often dubbed the hero of the epic of the Mahabharat. Now, I mentioned the conflict between the Pandavas and the Kauravas. And when it came to the full-scale war, on the very first day, Arjun, this mighty warrior, this greatest archer, this strong leader, was overwhelmed by anxiety, doubt, and grief. In that moment, he realized he would have to fight and even kill some of his own family members to win this war. to help protect the innocent and to help sustain society. Now that's probably one of the toughest decisions you could come across, having to decide to engage your own family members and kill them to protect and sustain society. He didn't know what to do. Luckily, he was able to turn to Lord Krishna for guidance and support. And Krishna helped him understand his duties to fight in the war. His duties towards society to pick up arms despite his own personal emotions. What would have happened if Arjun didn't fight in the Kurukshetra war? Would the Pandavas have lost? Would the Kauravas have won? Would the rule and reign of demonic tyrants have been beneficial for this land and this world? The Mahabharata teaches us that the, e that the most difficult decisions are not always the easiest. It teaches us that sometimes we may have to decide to do something that is against our own personal desires, emotions or values. It will challenge us, but we can learn from Arjun. Arjun's decision to fight in the Kurukshetra war highlights the importance of turning to a mentor, turning to a trusted one, a respected elder, for the guidance we may need to make a better decision. But it also highlights the importance of thinking about and understanding our duties and responsibilities to ourselves, to others, to society and the environment, even when it may conflict with our own personal desires and emotions. He made a decision. Heath, 
that would be most beneficial for the society in the long term. He made a decision, meat, that would cause the least harm to the innocents in centuries to come. And he made a decision, breed, a place of compassion for his fellow man and woman and society, despite his own personal emotions of not wanting to fight his own family. The next time you make a decision, I invite you, think about it. What impact is it causing on myself, on others? Is it bringing happiness and joy, if not now, in the long term? Or is it causing pain and harm? And is that decision made from a place of thought, compassion, and duty? Heat, meat, and breathe. Make dharmic decisions. Namaste.